in the life vlog maybe a weekly vlog who knows we'll see where this goes um, I am driving to one of my clients where I've got my last couple of days of a retained services contract um, so I've been working there for most of this year actually um, doing a combination of things um, some industrial relations strategy um, I've been doing some leadership development design uh, generally helping out coaching um, it's been really lovely to be a part of an organization and a small part of a team um, because I have been out and about for nearly seven years at the end of this year and um, yeah consulting is fabulous but it can get a little lonely at times so yeah especially after COVID I must say um, so yeah um, off to work I am going to check my schedule once I get to work and see what time I can take lunch because I am going to meet up with the fabulous Adam. Um, Adam's got a YouTube channel. He lives here in Brisbane. He started a couple of months back now and uh, we both work in the city and so we organized before he went to Hamilton Island. If you haven't seen his Hamilton Island vlog, how fabulous is that? He got to go for work. Um, not that the weather was fabulous, but Adam was fabulous. Uh, so yeah, he said, once I get back from Hamilton Island, um, let's catch up. And I thought lunch would be great. So I'm gonna check my schedule and see what time I can do lunch. And I think we'll go and have sushi. So that'll be fabulous. Have I said that like 10 times already? I probably have, no coffee yet. So the brain is still waking up. Um, looks like this person's brain is still waking up too. <laughs> uh, yeah, so today I know I have a couple of meetings on. Obviously, I won't be vlogging when I'm working because that would be a little bit weird. Um, I feel like I just look like a head because the interior of my car is white and my coat is white and my Louis Vuitton shawl is um, looking white <laughs> here. Uh, yeah, I just look like a little head stuck, sticking out of the seat, which is a bit funny. Sorry about that. Um, so this morning I've watched a couple of unboxings. I love watching a little bit of YouTube when I get ready for the day. And I saw uh, Vivian Connolly. Uh, Viv, I'm so glad that you succumbed to a bit of fun. Viv has a fabulous Dior unboxing that you should go and see. She blames me. I'm happy to take the blame. It's fine, but the bag she got is gorgeous. And if I was to come across those sorts of funds, I would buy, and that bag, I should say, then I would definitely buy that bag. So congratulations to Viv and two years on YouTube. And I also watched the lovely train girl, Megan, uh, and her absolutely giddy joy that her beautiful husband, Ben, treated her surprisingly to her to a gorgeous new Fendi bag um, and knowing Megan and that bag she's always after something unique and interesting something that has a story something um, that is her that's that's who she is and it was so fabulous to see her joy this morning so congratulations to Megan I'll link both those videos down in the description box below if you would like to enjoy some bag candy and you don't follow those ladies already then please do they are fabulous so what else is on this week uh well tomorrow i have a second day at the office and it's back to back with meetings so i'm working with a team to help them figure out how to work across teams so it's one big division and they have a bunch of different sections within that division uh, and they seem to just stay in their own lanes and the cumulative impact of performance is really hard to find um, when everyone's just taking care of themselves. So my job is to kind of help identify with them what they think some of the capabilities of team performance could look like for them in a really sustainable and pragmatic way and then help them to implement some of those actions. So 
or to make a plan to implement those actions. Uh, so yeah, so that leads me on to something that I've been hiding from you guys. I have a new YouTube channel pretty much ready to go. Uh, I get a lot of questions on this channel, especially when I do Q&As about leadership and team development and those sorts of things. And I thought it's a kind of complimentary um, thing to do in terms of the fact that I'm already doing YouTube. I am dealing with this these kind of issues every day. Why not create some short, punchy and helpful um, references for people who are just having a, a hard time of it and uh, they Google, how do I deal with my boss who's being a dick? And I can say, well, here's a couple of things you could try, you know? So yeah, the channel is, um, it's going to be launched soon, so stay tuned. Then I have a friend coming to stay Wednesday night who's got to uh, just go and see a specialist from a training injury um, sustained from lifting very heavy weights. <laughs> so it will be good to see him anyway. And then on Friday, I'm flying to Melbourne because... I decided pretty last minute after a little bit of miscommunication, primarily from my part, to go and see Jacob's documentary with Vivian Westwood um, that's premiering at the Melbourne Documentary Film Festival called Art Lovers Unite. And initially I was a bit worried. I was on Van Island and I thought, this is not a really good idea to be going to Melbourne um, because you know what you do when you're in Melbourne Dale, you shop. And so I just planned it literally in on the day of the event and out mid-morning after the event. Um, and I have a fabulous date. Um, one of my friends that I met um, when I was in Melbourne last time uh, has agreed to be my date. So looking forward to seeing you Heidi. Um, and yeah, I am hoping that um, my Fendi blazer will be uh, ready. <laughs> I've had it at the tailor now for over a week and a half and it's coming down to the wire um, because I feel like, you know, going as a logo ho is pretty much just going in my uniform. I'm looking forward to meeting Jacob. I'm hoping to meet up with Jessie Style when I'm there. Um, hopefully Tanya from Bits and Bags will be there as well. I haven't really talked to anyone <laughs> um, because it's just been a bit busy um, and I can't actually commit to people because I'm not there for very long so I don't want to go and reach out to a whole bunch of people and be like no I can't catch up because I forgot that I only had 24 hours and I'm going to be sleeping for some of those so Yes, so that's my week at a glance. And then I should fly home Saturday, um, mid-morning. And potentially we're having dinner with friends Saturday night. Uh, so yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit happening this week. Um, yeah. Yes. So that's it. I am going to go and park and I might put Adam on to say hi a bit later. Hi, um, fancy seeing you here. It's Thursday. Last time I spoke to you was Tuesday. Uh, so I didn't take you to lunch with Adam, obviously. Happy birthday, Adam. It's Thursday, Adam's birthday today. But now I'm just um, making a dash to the shopping center to return a dress that I bought earlier in the week on the chance that I may wear it to Jacob's premiere. Uh, but I have decided against it because it's not really me and my style. Uh, and since doing my styling course, like I'm, I actually don't mind buying things, taking them home and, and trying them a bunch of different ways and then going, you know what, that's not working. But I think you really have to commit to doing that um, otherwise you'll end up with a cupboard full of things with tags on that you've never worn and you didn't return in time 
So I was lucky enough to pick up my alterations from the tailor. So I have my Fendi blazer. Um, so I'm really excited that that came through and they did such a great job. You wouldn't even know um, that it had been tailored, which is, you know, what you want from a tailor. Um, so I have some outfits planned, but it is going to be so cold in Melbourne. The overnight temperature tonight till tomorrow morning is like a low of four degrees, getting to a maximum of 13 degrees tomorrow. Uh, and I'll have the best part of the day in Melbourne tomorrow. And then as it goes overnight, Friday night to Saturday morning, it's going to get to a low of two degrees with a frost. Uh, and that's the night that will be out. And I'm not sure if there's a cloakroom or anything where I can keep like a big coat um, <laughs> at the cinema or um, other places. Uh, so I'm a little bit, um, I'm a bit frightened I'm going to freeze. <laughs> uh, and the alternative is I don't freeze um, but I am not, not feeling chic. Uh, I, being from Queensland, dressing for an event in winter, but it is, I, I don't think it's like glitter and sequins. I, I could have misread the whole thing, but I don't believe it's glitter and sequins. And it is Melbourne, um, so attitude is required. But dressing for an event in winter, for a Queenslander, it's very difficult. <laughs> what a beast. I love this car. Why would I ever sell it? Okay, I'm so tired. I took the dress back and they don't do refunds in in-store purchases, only online. Seems a bit weird to me. Uh, so now I have another credit note because <laughs> I couldn't find anything. I ended up just buying a black cardigan that I'm hoping I'll be able to hide under my blazer as an extra layer to keep me warm. So we'll see how it goes. I might be cold or I might be looking like Michelin Man. Right, I'm going home to pack and relax and wash my hair and do all the things that mean I can just take carry on. Okay, I will see you in the morning um, when I go to Melbourne. Bye. I'm in Melbourne. Um, I just upgraded my room for $30 so that I could get in earlier, four hours earlier. So I thought that was worthwhile. I can charge my phone, freshen up, you know, get things organized and then go and wander about, also reduce the time that I am left alone shopping because we both know that that's pretty dangerous for me, given that I'm off the island, kind of. Um, I should go back on the island. Look how shiny I am. Does anyone else find that plane travel makes their skin super shiny? Anyway, um, yeah, so this is my room. Check it out. I've even got a therapy, a therapy lounge. <laughs> uh, it's, um... It's, 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 you know, pretty good. Nice view of the street. Literally just walked in here. Let me turn around. Massive mirror for taking outfit of the day photos. Um, I was wearing my trench, obviously. I've got a couple of handbags over here. Um, I'll get those out later. Uh, but yes, the good old Valentino suede boots, my witchery Maya black skinny jeans, which are cropped, which I love. This is my age ombre pink jumper, which is essential, just fits under my trench. And I've got a little uh, thermal under here as well, <laughs> because burr. Um, yeah, so this is my outfit. And then if we go into the, it's a very, oh, wow, okay. I wonder when these rooms were made. Like I'd say this was a 90s Renault, would you say? 90s, early 2000s, but it's cool. Um, this was all done very last minute. Why is there a window in the toilet? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna sit on the toilet and look out the window. Hi. <laughs> yeah, but cool, it's 
good. It smells like bleach. That's also good. So uh, I am going to get settled and I'm going to go look for some golden goose shoes today. That's what I'm going to do. That's my project. Tour is not finished. There's fluffy robes in here. I underestimated this place. Uh, we've got a blow dryer and an iron, an ironing board, which is, you know, essentials. Extra blanket. Queenslander will need that. And the little mini bar. I wonder if there's anything in it. Let's have a look. Just some milk for coffee or tea. That's all right. We'll go and get some snacks later. Okay, so I'm all unpacked. Uh, outfit reveal. My Fendi Zucca blazer is back. I'm going to line it with this lovely black wool um, cardigan because it's cold here. I'm wearing sweatpants to the premiere. I am, I am indeed. And I also have, which I haven't hung up very well. One moment. I also have this 90s inspired top. And yes, black collects every bit of fluff from this sweater. I've got my collar breeze in the eight and a half centimeters. I got a little something from Vivian Westwood and a lint roller because that's what you need when you plan on wearing black. Um, for bags, these are the bags that I've bought. For today, I'm going to switch out of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. I love traveling with this because of how slouchy it is and my organizer. Get yourselves an organizer, people. They are amazing. Um, so good for keeping everything organized. Oh, there's something to show you as well. I'm using my little Fendi pouch as my compact wallet. Tonight, I'll be wearing Zucker on Zucca because I'm a logo ho. Look at the hardware on this. And inside of here, it's like a babushka of Fendi. I've also bought my little Nano just for fun. Um, I feel like, you know, there's an opportunity. So I don't want to waste it. I haven't landed on anything yet. And yeah, my Louis Vuitton Clapton. So we've got some Demi Abine. We've got some Monogram. We've got some Zucca. We've got some Debossed FFs. And we've got some Bug Monster Eye thingies. I mean, it's a pretty good swag, isn't it? Some more luxury to share with you. Obviously, I bought my trench. Um, I'm going to get as much wear out of this baby this winter as possible before I start looking for a stone-coloured one or I convince myself to keep this one. Um, I've bought along my Louis Vuitton scarf. I bought this one in Barcelona back in 2018. I love the leopard print and see if there's lots of pools in it and the hardware. Um, straps as well as the black. I think it's a really nice mix of, they're kind of cooler tones, um, but a cooler leopard print, so it's not too warm and black really formalizes it. And of course, some lovely black leather gloves. These are not luxury, but they are a luxury. Um, they are, yeah, they're leather, but they are wool lined, cashmere lined as well. But I will probably need those because it gets a bit chilly here. So I'm just going to upload what I've put on the vlog so far into the iMovie file so that, uh, you know, it frees up some space on my phone. Okay, God help me, but I've decided to bear the cold for the few short minutes that we will be exposed to it in order of a more slim line look. So here we go. Here's my Westwood earring. So here is my completed look. Sporty Lux for the movies. Hopefully it, um, yeah, turns out to be as comfy as it looks. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to meet Heidi for a cocktail and yes, I might have bought something from Golden Goose. Ha! Ah. When a laneway is literally a laneway. Should I be going down here? Yeah, I've been down here before. How cool is Melbourne? Meet me at the pineapple. We are going to Berlin. We can choose east or west. Let's see. They've just opened, so... 
it might be a little bit quiet. Got our seats for Art Lovers Unite to premiere. Um, totally forgot to vlog the uh, the foyer situation because we got mugged by Jesse and Jacob. <laughs> but it was fabulous. So um, yeah, we're just sitting here waiting for the film to start. Yay! Yay! <laughs> And I hardly filmed anything last night. I must apologise, but I'm going to send you to Super Jacob's channel because he'll have lots of footage where I was. I, I've i got this thing about just being present, especially when you're there for something so important as a worldwide premiere. Um, it was really well attended last night and the documentary film itself is it's a moment in time and you can definitely appreciate why Jacob and Patrick get so moved by the fact that they've been able to make this film and have this extraordinary experience with Vivian Westwood because she is a living historical figure for the fact that she's, you know, in her late 80s. She's seen a lot. She knows a lot about art and art history. And uh, she does not apologise for having an opinion about things. And it's really wonderful to see a woman of her generation, when she came into the world, be unapologetic about her opinions which, you know, most of us today still are. So, so much that we could take in from it um, makes me want to go and en enrol in an art history class and learn more. Um, we had a wonderful um, uh, celebration of the film uh, where we got to know um, a bunch of other people that had had come along to celebrate. So... Bits and bags, Tanya was there and Jesse style, obviously, and Jesse did some comparing on the night and Jesse's partner, um, but they both were, you know, definitely a part of the team. And um, obviously myself and the wonderful Heidi um, who, who came along with me. So yeah, it was a lovely night. I got home just after midnight um, that is why I'm talking to you in the dark because I don't want to turn the light on. Um. <laughs> okay, I made it. Outfit of the day. Same black jeans and boots. Baby blue sweater. Coat, Clapton. And uh, I'm off to have breakfast. I really am starting to get annoyed with the colour of this coat. It's just doing my head in. Anyway, I'm just making it to the end of this season and then I'm going to buy a cooler coloured one. That's just how it's going to be. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> say Jacob, say hi. Hey y'all, you want a pizza? <laughs> I, can, I can bake your pizza, I can cook a pizza, I can do any pizza you want. 